Welcome guys to the 6th tutorial of Atomega 16. In this tutorial I will discuss the SBID and add keyword to access a single pin of a port of Atomega 16. We will also configure the port pin as an input and we will also interface a switch to toggle the LED. So first let's move to the Proteus software. You can see I have already connected an LED to PC5 of Atomega 16. Now I will connect a switch on port D. To get a switch in device list go to component mode and then click on P, type button and select this first package for button, double click on it and click on OK. I am using PD0 for this button, connect the other end of the button to ground, connect a resistance to this side of the button with 5 volt supply on the other end of the resistance. So according to this arrangement for the button. If the switch is not pressed, due to this resistance R2 will provide a 5 volt signal to PD0 pin of port D. So the status of the pin will be high. And whenever we are pressing the button, the status of the pin will be low. And we have to check for a low signal when we are pressing the switch. So in this way, whenever we detect the switch pressing, we have to toggle this LED connected to PC5. So let's write a program for this. Go to compiler and I have already created a new project. Now as I told you, I will discuss the SBIT and add keyword. So SBIT is single bit. So whenever we want to access a single pin or a single bit of a resistor, we will use this SBIT. So SBIT, then you can give any name. Suppose switch 1 at port D0 underscore bit. This LED is connected to PC5, so with the same way I will define a name to that LED, SBIT LED1 is connected at port C5 underscore bit. So in this way we define a name for PD0 as switch1 and a name LED1 to PC5. With the same procedure, I define two names to the data direction resistor. So switch one direction is decided by the DDD0 underscore bit and LED1 underscore direction is decided by the DDC5 underscore bit. Now we are not dealing with the entire port or entire data direction resistor. We are dealing with a single bit of that resistor. Now we have to configure the switch as an input. For that, switch one direction will be equal to zero. It will configure the pin number zero of port D as an input. And next we have to configure the LED as an output. So for that we have to type LED one underscore DIR is equal to one. Now create an infinite loop with while one. So this is the starting and ending bracket of the while one. Now according to this arrangement of the switch, when switch is pressed, the status of PD0 will be 0. Or when we release the switch, because of this resistance connected to 5 volt supply, the status of PD0 will be high. So we have to check for a low status. For that we will use if statement and if switch1 is equal to 0, the starting and ending bracket of if so if switch 1 is pressed or low, then LED 1 is equal to 1. So turn on the LED 1. And this is the equality operator. We are checking the state of switch 1. So if it is 0, activate the LED. Or if it is 1, turn off the LED. So first compile this. I apologize guys, I forget to mention here that if we are connecting the input devices to the Atmega controller, then we, we can't use this port resistor. We have to use pin resistor. So change this port to pin. Pin D0 underscore bit. And the remaining program will be same. Just recompile the program and go for the simulation. Now you can see initially the LED is off because this switch is released. So if switch is released, the status of PD0 is high. So press the switch and you can see the LED is turned on. Now release the switch, again the LED will turn off. Press the switch, LED on and release the switch, LED off. So this is because of this program. So again I want to tell you that whenever you are 
connecting any input device to at mega 16 you have to use the pin register instead of port now if i want to modify this program a little bit first i will delete this second if now if the switch is pressed i want to toggle the led with the delay of 500 milliseconds so for that i will write the instructions under the if like this so whenever we are pressing the switch it will first activate the LED then delay of 500 milliseconds and it will turn off the LED with a delay of 500 milliseconds so let's compile the program again and go for simulation so whenever you are pressing the button it will toggle the LED now you can see the switch is still pressed so if you release this button then the LED will turn off so guys in this way you can connect a number of switches to a microcontroller the process will be same you have to just declare here how many switches you are using in your project and you have to define the different name for different switches on different pins then you have to define the direction for every switch and this if is for only one switch if you are using more switches then you have to use multiple if statements so stay in contact guys and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel